Okay, we're recording. This is my robot I made out of connects. Made it with, with a little bit of help. Um, it has moving arms. Huh. It moves forwards and backwards. And my next robot I build is going to have a turning head like a real actual robot. <coughs> And it's going to have more gear, more tight wheels to that robots would usually use instead of wheels. They don't really use wheels. <coughs> and uh, we have the eyes on top, the head, and we have the motor mechanism down here. The motor comes up with the wire all the way up and comes around into here because the wire is so long. It wraps around this white rod that you probably won't see and it connects into the, the motor and it has connections onto it so it stay connected. <coughs> and it can do both at the, with your motor with the motor. and then I put some stuff on it. The wheels didn't go right when I did the arms. It just fell down and I shortened the arms and it worked and I needed to put less weight on the wheels because the wheels kept bending. And I did <coughs> these small wheels in the front for um, to keep it down. And I just put these here for some random reason. My brother says, put his eyes down, put it on him, and make it a laser. And um, the motor is right under the head. It's connected, as you can see. And it has wheels, two of the medium size, and two small ones in there to hold it down. <coughs> and it has connections here to connect these on, right under here, it holds, ah, it holds the base together, and um, it mostly includes that, my second robot will have more of a better structure, and well, it will probably be bigger is about uh, over a half of the size of me. And, um, What's his name? His name? Oh. X slash X one slash five. two. X What's slash one oh five. X slash one oh five. So what will be the next um the the robot? Yeah. Next robot name will be X205 because it should be their second robot I built. Very well done. Uh, I only built it big because the small robots are more complicated. And if you're going to hold motors, they have to be. You have to have a small wire with those motors, unless unless you use one of the heavier ones. <clears throat> and it has four main connections, so the head can go on. come off, like that. It has blue rods here, and it has four orange connectors that go on to the blues to hook the head on. You could put it this way or this way, but I prefer it this way because the motor's should be in the back. And um, I didn't just put them in stuff like these orange connectors to them in like that because I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to just, if you pulled it, it would come out. I wanted it to be connected so that it would be <coughs> a um, better hold, well, it would be better to hold it up. <coughs> and we have structure 
Why don't you bring it over here so we can see it close up? Okay. That's good. You can move that out of the way. Good. Very well done. And the arms used to be about this long. And um, I shortened them because when the arms went, they knocked the, knocked the tires off. Not, no, not come off, but it knocked over. It was too top heavy, right? What? The arms made it too top heavy? Yeah, made it yeah. too top heavy, which pushed down and made it fall. Okay, so is there anything else you haven't told us about your X slash 105? What does it do for you? Uh, mainly just goes around and chops things up. <laughs> oh, it chops things up, like like celery and onions. No, not that. <laughs> okay. I told them already. Okay, so let us see it in action. Okay. Can you put it back together? Look at that. Very cool. Okay, is there anything else you want to tell us? No, not really. Okay, so we'll make and we'll post another video when you make your next one. Okay, signing off.